In this video, I'm going to show you 10 signs that it's time to fire your virtual assistant. Everybody. Welcome to Judy Aralia's TV, the place to be where we talk about business, productivity, and going after the life that we aspire. I'm your host, Judy Aralia's, the CEO of VirtualLasting.com, which is an outsourcing company for virtual assistants. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest content and freebies. While you're at it, please like this video you're gonna love our topic for today all right so today's topic is super important especially um as a lot of us are wanting to really move our business forward and especially in the times of quarantine we're all hiring virtually but I know that a lot of you have also hired bad eggs and you may wonder when exactly is it time to let go? When is it time to say goodbye? Today I'm going to show you I have the necessary credentials. I've been a virtual um, employer for the past nine years and this is super familiar to me. In fact, I dare say that I'm an expert at it. <laughs> All right, so the number one sign that you should fire your virtual assistant is habitual tardiness and other attendance issues. Now, a lot of people may think that, you know, um, she's really great, but she's just late. Well, as somebody who was like a former latecomer myself, I can attest to you that people who are late are not, they don't have their lives together. They're a mess. They're very unreliable a lot of times. And sometimes they're also very disrespectful, especially of the time of others. And, um, Tolerating that kind of behavior in your organization is the surefire way that others will follow suit. And you wouldn't want a culture of tardiness, right? Like what if you start with just one person and then you and then eventually you hire like 20 people and then everybody's late, right? Number two is multiple missed deadlines. that also ties in with tardiness usually these actually are somehow synonymous also they come together and when you're always late with the deadlines how can your business really truly move forward right number three is difficulty in getting hold of your virtual assistant well in this day and age, there really is no excuse when it comes to making sure that you're always connected. I'm not saying that you're gonna be breathing, you know, each other's backs or something and like being breathing, um, you know, like on your VA's neck or something and like micromanaging, but it goes to show that in this day and age where Zoom, WhatsApp, Skype, iMessage, Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, Viber exist, there shouldn't be a problem. In fact, you should be able to reach out to your VA as soon as you can without any issues. If there are issues, then it means that either you are not 
doing your part and being communicative or your VA is purposefully looking for a way not to communicate, which is like some kind of pushback. And trust me in this, I hire VAs. Um, I have a lot of VAs and I also help people hire VAs. And this is a non-negotiable for me because somehow poor communication is like the precursor of sour business relationships. So mind your boundaries and say no to this. Number four, endless excuses. Like endless excuses, like my computer is not working, my internet, uh, there's no signal, there's no electricity, stuff like that. And I call bull on that because, again, in this day and age, if you don't have, like, let's say, for example, your wired line is disconnected, you can always connect to your mobile hotspot. There's no way that, you know, you can really truly um, not be able to communicate because you can always contact via Facebook Messenger or even their phone number, right? So usually when these things happen, trust me in this, it's not just like a technical issue. Most often it is a will issue and a laziness issue. And that's not something that you should um, encourage in your business and the kind of people that you work with. Number five is repeated mistakes over inability to follow instructions. So this can actually happen to some people. Some people, um, like they are really good in interviews, but then in the actual work, they're not very conscientious with instructions and they can actually get you to very costly mistakes. And so, um, of course, at first, it's fine. You can try to always like um, educate your VA and tell them, you know, hey, let's do it this way and stuff, you know, um, please make sure to follow instructions. But if it's already a habitual and you find that they are like repeatedly not following instructions, it means that this person is not very organized. And I think it's also a will issue. It's like um, they're not really that eager to please and do haphazard work. For me, that's telling of professionalism and personality. That's not something that I'm really interested in working with. Number six is rudeness. Rudeness to you, rudeness to your customers, rudeness to your audience. It's a no. And you do not have to put up with it no matter how talented they are, okay? I'm going to give you permission to just say no. Number seven, lying. I hate it when I catch a VA in a lie, no matter how small it is, because it makes me feel like I can never be able to really truly trust them with big things. And so I found that, you know, many times I allow people to like, I, I give them like um, a free pass, I guess, in their first, let's say, offense towards me. But the more that I tolerate it, the more that true character comes out, usually a liar is a habitual liar and so beware beware of this okay number eight is your gut tells you that you cannot rely on her or him guys do not ignore your gut your intuition it knows way more than you let on number nine pushes back on tasks without a second thought like for example you're going to tell your VA, hey, um, can you help me with editing this video? And then he's, 
he's he's gonna say like no i don't know that and for me as somebody who owns a virtual assistant agency that is like an alarm bell that gives me um the idea that this person does not have the initiative to learn and does not have the initiative initiative to help and what is the point of really having somebody on your team that is not all in in your success they're not a part of your tribe so no need to force the issue number 10 is most of all you are irritated every time that they talk usually you would notice that you get irritated by somebody especially when a multiple number of offenses or like misses have already been done and usually this happens when you you keep on giving people chances and so i'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way there are so many virtual assistants and employees who deserve the post and who would be grateful um, to have a job okay and most of all don't forget I have a virtual assistant outsourcing agency and we train excellent people who are dedicated like the most dedicated people that I've met we're actually trained in our company we have a very um, lengthy training process and vetting process and so you're sure to find somebody you'll really like especially that aside from the training we also provide our clients with a very robust one week trial with two virtual assistants how about that so our prices um have recently changed for part-time it's 650 dollars uh, US dollars and for full-time it's a thousand dollars we have virtual assistants who can help you with lead generation data mining social media marketing e-commerce real estate virtual assistants graphic design um, Shopify Amazon uh, chat support customer service research and literally a lot more you can even create your website, email marketing, and chatbots. Anyway, if you're interested in that, just email me at judy at virtualasting.com or you can check out the links below and you'll see a lot of information or you'll be led to a lot of information. You can also book a call with me. The link is down below. All right. So you all have a great day and you take care. Bye.